For pretty much the entire year, I've been struggling with some target panic, short drawing, um, anticipating the shot, just not being able to be in full control over my shot. And one of the things that has really helped me um, as a clicker, it's kind of amazing because when I have a clicker on my bow, I shoot great, um, probably better than I've ever shot. Um, and if I shoot a bow without one, everything just goes right back um, to being crap. So the clicker has been huge and I've kind of come up with a few ways of modifying it um, to make them a little bit better. So this is how they come. This is what it looks like in the package. You'll get a clicker like this uh, with some instructions and it has this yellow cord on it with um, a pull chain and some double sided tape here. And it's really this chain that I don't like. Uh, when you shoot, it, it's loud, it hits your bow. Um, so what I like to do is I'll replace that with some uh, D-loop material. So I'm gonna show you guys how to modify a clicker and then how to set it up on your bow. So to get started, we need a Phillips head screwdriver and um, this brand of clicker is the clickety click. There's another one, um, but they're both pretty, they both work under the same premise. They mount to the limb of the bow and then the string goes through your bow string and that's what makes it click. So your backing plate, you have the actual part that clicks. Um, then take your wire cutters. Sorry, I'm doing this as I'm looking through a camera, so it's a little weird. Just kind of nip that off. And then, see this part here. Get the camera to focus. There it goes. You can push this through. And it just comes out. But you want to save that end piece because we're going to use that. So I'm just going to hold this in my, in my pliers. And then I have just a flat tip screwdriver, a small one. Actually, I think I'll do this with my fingers. And then all you're doing is you want to open up um, this little groove here. Okay, you'll see a little groove. And so basically you just want to open this up so you can take out the rest of that bead chain. Finally. Okay, so got that open, the bead chain comes out. Then, so I have about, this is about 30 inches of D loop cord, but uh, I'm going to use probably half of that. So, I'm going to take that little stopper piece and then going to sit the cord in that, like that. And then reclose it. And then it's gonna flare out the end here. Melt it down, just like what you would do if you're doing like a a D loop. Make a little ball. 
Yeah. There you go. And that'll hold it in place. And then you just take your backing plate. Thread it through this hole. And this has to seat all the way up in there. Or else the clicker won't click properly. Yeah. And then just put it back together. Sorry, this looking through the camera is like throwing off my depth reception. <laughs> All right, here we go. I'm going to fast forward through a lot of that. Okay, so have it back together, clicks. Cool. So now it's ready to mount to the belt. So I'm going to prep the limb um, to mount the clicker to it. So I just have some Windex here on a paper towel. I'm just going to use that to clean off the limb. It's going to help the that double-sided tape stick better. Um, that clicker is definitely something you don't want coming off at full draw because it, it'll be hitting right for your face. Um, And then attach, attaching it to the limb is really easy. All you do is peel the backing off. Um, so I'm going probably just like in that upper third of the limb. Just trying to get it centered really well press it down, and that's it. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I have a gold sharpie here. I'm gonna mark my string uh, where this cord is gonna connect uh, because when you unstring the bow, it's kinda hard to judge. Um, so where I like it is pretty much directly across, maybe a little bit in that direction. Uh, you definitely don't want it in this direction because it doesn't click as easily. Um, it clicks much better in that direction. So, probably right about there. Give that a mark. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my arrow and I'm going to mark it for my draw length and that'll help me kind of quickly set up the clicker. Um, you can just kind of do this and then kind of fine tune from there. So what I'll do is I'll draw to the mark um, in front of a mirror or have someone watch me. And then um, adjust the clicker until it clicks at that mark. And then from there, I will fine tune the adjustment until I'm getting the timing that I like. Cool. 
so that arrow is marked with my draw length. Mark it all the way around. Great, now I just have to have string the bow and put the string through it. So I have the string off the bow, um, and I'm going to take my cord to find that mark that we made on the string. I'm just going to split the string into two equal halves, just like that. Slide the cord through there. Just leave leave it pretty slack like that. And that's it. Then just put the string back on. Okay, so now that I have it adjusted to the length that I want, um, one thing I wanted to note is when you saw me adjusting, um, when I first had it on there, it was you know way too long uh, before it clicked, and I just made a very small adjustment, very very small one, and it was already um, too short, and then I made an even smaller adjustment to lengthen the cord a little bit, and that one felt perfect, um, but. That's just me drawing the bow back. That's not actually shooting at a target. So what I like to do is I'm going to leave this a little bit longer um, than I need just because you can cut cord off but you can't put it back on. So what I'll do is I'm, I'm going to cut this um, and leave probably about an extra half inch on there. That's way more than I'll need but that's what I'm going to do. And just the string tension alone is enough to keep that in place. Um, and then once I have the perfect length, uh, what I'll do is I'll just melt the ball on the end, and then I'll usually do some uh, half hitch serving over it just to make sure. But I'm going to leave it just like that, a little tag end, until I get it absolutely perfect. Um, which will come through shooting it and yeah and that's it and then another big question is can you hunt with this and absolutely yes you can um, I've had um, people I'm shooting with I've asked them can you hear the clicker when I'm shooting and they said they can hear it just very faintly um, and then I've taken moleskin and I've covered the clicker with it and when you do that only you can hear it if you're in front of that bow, and especially if you're, you know, downrange a little bit, you you can't hear anything. So um, you can definitely hunt with them. And if you're struggling with target panic, if you want to um, hold longer or just have a very consistent draw length, give it a try.